I'm trying not to shake. 710, Sunday, December 4th. I have found 2023 cars at Walmart. Holy shit. I am so happy. This isn't the new one. There's a new McQueen and a new Mater. Oh! <gasps> oh! Finally! Oh my gosh, no way. No fucking way. There has to be more. They'll say 2022. Look, there's another one right here. No fucking way. Is this the McQueen? No, that one says 2022. There's a new Mater and a new... Uh, no way, dude. I found 2023 stuff. Hey, it was worth coming all the way, all the way over here to this Walmart after all. This one's also new on this sort of packaging. I'm gonna get these two. Yeah. For sure. Alrighty, Walmart number two. This is looking to be the same case. <laughs> no pun intended. Yeah. I'm just looking for that new lightning with a new expression. Same for uh, Chick Hicks. I mean, not Chick Hicks. <laughs> Mater, my bad. Another Greebles. Ooh. Okay. Let's see. Well, yeah, this whole place is a, is a dump. Everything's a mess here. I'll try my best to show off everything that's here, but I think this case is very limited to what it has. Hopefully, when Target receives a case, they'll put in the new McQueen and Mater in there. River Scott is also new for that case. Same with Doc. But yeah, nothing much here. December 12th at Ross, they have the NASCAR Legends 5-pack. That's pretty cool to see here. That was a Walmart exclusive. And they also have the Rusty's Dynaco Racing Center for 10 bucks. This is everything I got at Ross. Honestly, it was a pretty good freaking haul. So let the hunt continue. Didn't record any footage, but AutoZone and Barnes and Nobles have cars. Uh, they are expensive. I think at uh, AutoZone, they're seven bucks. And at Barnes and Nobles, they're about uh, $5 and change. So they're a bit pricey, but um, might want to check those stores for um, harder to find stuff. 11.56 a.m. I am at Big Lots. This is what they have for cars. For $3.99. Crazy to think that Big Lots and Ross are receiving what was once exclusive to Walmart. Speaking of Walmart. Do they even work? Oh. Jackson. I don't get though how like these basic cars they want five bucks but then the cooler ones are 399 and these are eight they also have the little on the go play mats here i didn't know they even carried those but this is what i'm getting this is for christmas decorations don't worry about that so at tj maxx it's been a while since i've seen car stuff here but this is what they got some pretty nice stuff um doesn't make sense how they're more expensive here these little nascar vehicles when i can just go to big lots down the street and they are 3.99 there they're asking 4.99 for these which is what they were priced at already at walmart so it's kind of stupid to not mark them down i don't know why they didn't and why they're claiming that they're cheaper but um they're really not but as far as cars items that was all i was able to find here at tj maxx here at HEB now, nothing too crazy, right? But I just like the way their stock looks here. Looks better than what Target has to offer right now, honestly. I like how they label this as Place It Fall TV. Anywho, just wanted to show that. I did not expect to see this today at Walmart, but it is the re-release of the Cars 2 Mac hauler. Not too long ago, I got the first edition from Walmart from China, but now this one is from Thailand. So pretty cool to find this. It is quite rare. So I'll be able to open up a Cars 2 Mac now. This was $17.97, bro. Back in my day, I'm sounding old. They were $13 to $15. Now they're 20 bucks after tax, bro. Come on. 
what was the point of this? Bro, they didn't even steal anything from it, too. So, okay. I bumped into a fan again. <laughs> and I'm letting him choose his Christmas present. It's either that or the cars on the road Ford pack. Do you want to go look at it real quick? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, you can choose that one or the Haley Steinfield. It's whatever you want. It's your Christmas present. You know, you're like one of my biggest fans. So, like, you deserve your Christmas present. It's your choice. Bro. No, the Haley Steinfield. Haley Stein. No, it's that. You just want the McQueen? Him too, he just wants the McQueen. Because I had bought this for him, and he's like, I don't want that. And I don't really like those two. So I was like, okay. Yeah, but I returned it because he just wants the McQueen. Everyone just wants the McQueen. I mean, he's here, right? But like, plastic. Yeah, and that's purple. That's not red. That's not red, Chief. And we don't have the single McQueen. In Mexico? No. no. I think there is starting to arrive, but it's been a while since I don't go to a Walmart or. Oh, Walmart. okay. Gotcha. Well, we can go look, look at other stuff, but you, you want to get that one? Yeah. Sure. All right, bet. Well, guys, this was yet another meetup with a fan. Yes. He chose his Christmas present. It's going to be the. Hi, Steinfeld. Hailey Steinfeld, Kate Bishop. And. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, uh, if anyone wants to see the stock here. Be careful, there, don't, there's don't not get much. Too don't yeah. get too excited. It's nothing grand. There's nothing really good. But anyways, what's today? Uh, December, December 7th, 17th. 17th. December 17th. Um, I think the next time I'm going to be recording is once I'm in Mexico. So I will see you guys in Mexico. He came to visit me for Mexico, but then now I'm going to Mexico and now I'm leaving Texas and he's, he came to Texas. It's crazy how things work. But anyways, I will see you guys next time. Bye. December 20th. My inner child has officially healed. I love Legos, dude. Like, as a kid, I always, like, grew up with Legos. I had Duplo, and I had a bunch of Legos from the Lego movie. I had Legos from Cars, Thomas and Friends. Um, I, I, like I said, the Lego movie. Some Marvel ones as well. So, to get all of this for Christmas, dude. Like, yes, I bought them for myself. But, like, it's just the fact that I was able to, like, heal my inner child getting all this because as a kid i'd get maybe something like mm, i want to say maybe something like this as a kid or that and you know that's all my mom could afford we, you know we weren't that wealthy growing up or that privileged you know we could only get small stuff like this that was ten dollars fifteen dollars twenty dollars the most and that was like for the whole year and like i don't know it just makes me feel so happy seeing all of this it's like wow i i did this like I did this to spread cheer to myself and to my family because some of these are going to be gifts as well. I'm not keeping all this for myself. Heck no. That's that's not what Christmas is all about. No, Christmas is about giving to those you love and care about. And I mean, that's what I'm doing. Some of these are for me. Some of these are for my family, cousins, brothers, etc. Almost time to leave the Mexico. Here is my Christmas tree. We opened up Christmas presents a couple days early since, you know, we're going to spend christmas day over there with family in mexico so here's a look at the way i themed it out this year last year it was mainly marvel themed so this year i went for sort of a just cars theme um there's only one spider-man figure decoration on there but everything else is completely cars along with the lights and the spheres red and gold really um maybe next year i'll do blue and gold i'm not too sure but i really like how i decorated the tree this year in the living room and then in my actual room i have a little miniature tree Decorated with some Hallmark mini ornaments from, you know, the actual Hallmark store. There's a Lightning McQueen, a Mater, a Pixar uh, lamp, and a couple other townies spheres. And yeah, I think it looks pretty good. Okay, December 22nd. We're going to take a look at the stock just like last year. A few days before Christmas. This is the current situation. No matter how low they put these, for some reason they just don't sell. I would have thought that they would. Two packs don't really sell, especially the Dynaco, me and Tia ones. Yeah. Empty, empty, empty. And then Hot Wheels. All they have to offer is that Target truck. 
It's crazy. Check this out. In general, look how empty it is. This is the Lego section. It's crazy. And this is the situation at Walmart. This is why you do the Christmas shopping early, bro. So it is Christmas Eve. I am at a shop called La Comer here in Mexico and this is their car selection. I'm noticing that this does not say new for 2022 or anything like that, which is pretty cool though. I will pick this one up since it's international packaging. They have a pretty nice variety. I'm not going to lie. Their Speed Demon doesn't say new for 2022. I think they have the Road Trip Mater here. Yeah. Ah, but this one doesn't say new for 2022, even in the United States. Uh, there's another McQueen back there. Cruise Ramirez says Francis Beltline. Flipped over, transforming Lightning McQueen. Let me show you guys this one real quick. Uh, so that's what they look like internationally. I'm dropping everything. The pegs are packed here. Hey, something that the United States can't do for some reason. A 2017 Jackson Storm. And I think it's the first edition where it's a lot shorter than the much newer version, if I'm not mistaken, without the window bars. Yeah. Yeah, they have a bunch of Cars 3 2017 releases, which is pretty crazy to see. Even 2018, look at that. Wow, even 2019, even 2020. They have every era just sitting here on the pegs. And there are the prices in pesos, not US dollars. They got the mini racers also on their own little car bag. They're not in blind bags here. They also have deluxes. Look at that. Something like this is already considered rare back at home. Look, Miss Fritter as well. A pretty good selection. So it is Christmas Day. There is absolutely nothing cars related at this new Walmart that just opened four, no, five days ago. This is the only thing that they have. We already checked and everything. A bit unfortunate, but oh well. We got two more Walmarts that we can still go to. All right, Walmart number two on Christmas Day, December 25th. This does have a car section, this Walmart. A bunch of 2021 stuff from what I'm seeing. They have a toy shop right outside this Walmart that I went to also last year. That's called Juguetilandia, something like that. Uh, from the looks of it, I don't see anything I need. There is a lot of stuff that's rare that I'm seeing here that you don't really see in the United States anymore. Like this one right here, pile up. But that's pretty much it. They just sell singles, not really anything extreme. I mean, they have the car wash. But that's pretty much it. What do they call it here? Suds Marine Car Wash. Is that really how it's called in the United States too? Could have sworn the name was different, but oh well. We 
we are off into the toy store called Julio Cepeda and it is December 26th, uh, 7 p.m. So let's do it. That Thunder Hollow 2 pack is extremely rare in the United States and somehow they have pegs full of it here. So this is their second car section in the store. It's interesting to see some of this stuff here, if I'm going to be honest. You don't really see this more obscure stuff. So now I'm at a grocery store called Soriana, right across the toy store we were just at. This is pretty cool. Little suitcase with tools. Cars and mega blocks. Well, how about that? I did not expect to see that. I'm not sure exactly the price on that. Uh, the only diecast related thing is this that's it i think nothing much i kind of do want these two but they are coming out with an official lego set in january so i think i might hold off on this one cruz doesn't have the side decals on one side but on the other she does i think i just like the mcqueen from this if i'm gonna be honest and then this it looks cool but i don't think i really have a use for it I don't know. I want to buy that banner. Oh, okay. Now this is the good stuff right here. Look at that. Stuff from years ago. And newer stuff as well. Oh, this plastic basic line as well that I saw last year. Dude, look at that. And Cars 3. A couple more things down here. Straight from the Mattel factory. Alrighty, I drove to a different city with my family for the day. We are in Querétaro, Mexico at this huge mall. So let's see what we find. It is December 27th. Uh, still morning, I think. 11 a.m. And we're at a mall in a city called Querétaro. That's about a two hour drive from where I'm staying. So let's check out what they got. It's one o'clock? Oh, I thought it was 11. They have an amazing Marvel Legends section, but it's extremely overpriced. That right there is about $75 for some reason when it's 22 at Target. And here is their car section at Liverpool. Honestly, not much if I'm gonna be honest. Nothing you can't already just get at home. How much is a single car here? 180 pesos. That's like... We'll have to say it for the... For Siri, because she's white. It's pesos. That's how I say it. Pesos. Loud and proud. Now we are off to Juguetron. Let's see what they got. So that right there is kind of like Macy's, kind of like Liverpool. So let's see if they have anything good here uh, to take a look at. This is their cars assortment. They definitely have a lot of cool stuff here, but nothing you can't already, you know, find in the United States. 
A two pack is 335 pesos. Kind of outrageous. All right, December 28th, a few days before New Year's, and we are at the mall. We're going to Liverpool first, then Juguetron, and then Sears, and a couple more stores. I think also HEB, so uh, let's do it. Okay, so this is what they have to offer for cars. Three hundred and thirty-nine pesos. How much is the dino here? Nearly fifty bucks. Yeah, no thanks. Here is their section at Juguetron. Um, nothing special that you can't see in Texas or in the United States in general. The only thing I really saw here that stood out were the deluxes and the chickicks and pity two pack. Everything else is just stuff you can already see at home. Um, like I said, the deluxes, pretty cool to see considering they are already getting discontinued in the United States. So I did pick up a couple of those to, you know, stock up and invest in. But um, yeah, they have that Sudsmarine variation packaging. Um, whale car wash also as well and the mini on the go play sets but nothing too special and i did pick up a couple hot wheels and this jada jackson storm that was a uh, 50 percent off this is at sears yeah. 160 pesos 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 however you want to say it 109 pesos Nothing much here. Now we are at HEB. I was here last year. Let's see what they got. Nothing. I'm just drinking some Dairy Queen. Don't mind that. A hundred and two. Oh, okay, they're on sale for 112 pesos. They have some really cool Hot Wheels here in Mexico. These will not last in the USA. Lucio Air. Not much if I'm gonna be honest. Uh, oh well. Last day in Mexico and we are at the final Walmart of the trip. Let's see what they got. Officially back home. It is New Year's Eve. One last look at my little Christmas setup here for Radiator Springs before I take it down and we begin the new year. I've got a couple of things to talk about, so let's dive right into it. It's crazy with the amount of stuff that happened this year. If you would have told me five years ago that all of this was going to happen, I wouldn't have believed you. This was the celebration year. We hit 100,000 subscribers, did a couple interviews, got sponsored by Porsche, met a couple fans, went to Disneyland back and forth, and went to Mexico a couple times. And to this day, we're still standing as one big channel. This was the year, possibly the best year on the channel since 2018, if I'm gonna be honest. This was one of my favorite years by a long shot. The amount of celebratory stuff that we did on here was absolutely breathtaking and a fun but wild ride. 
receiving the silver play button, receiving gifts from fans, receiving plenty and thousands of new subscribers and fans saying thank you for the content you created. Going forward next year, I hope for nothing but the best. I do want to make a couple changes moving forward. Nothing drastic, right? It's all for the better of the channel. I want to make my content look a little bit more cleaner and of course, more entertaining. Of course, next year, I will hopefully be doing more traveling. My goal next year is to travel to Atlanta, Georgia, San Francisco, California, New York City, and possibly go to San Diego Comic-Con or D23. And another big goal I have for the channel next year is to complete my cars collection. Every single die cast that I need is around 200 models, if I'm not mistaken. Now that doesn't count minor variations, but I mean 200 models as in separate, unique characters, like background characters and other stuff that, you know, I just don't have yet. But moving forward into 2023, I can definitely say that this year was a blast. One of my favorite years, it was all thanks to you guys, and I look forward to what 2023 has in store for all of us here. Thank you to everyone for your tremendous support and for watching the videos. And with that being said, I will see you guys next year for hopefully another big ride of great content to come. Piston Cup Productions, signing out, and Happy New Year.